we were stuck. There was nowhere to go. Our vehicles were parked in a safe spot, but we we had nowhere to go until they came and got us. Scary night in Washington County last night after severe flooding hit Canton Township, filling businesses, homes and cars with water. Erica Stanish is talking to residents at Washington Estates who had to be rescued from their homes while others were left trapped at a gas station. Here at Washington Estates, upwards of 60 people had to be rescued from their homes. Residents I talked to described it as a traumatizing situation, leaving some stranded while others watched their cars float away. And it just it happened so quickly. There was just we needed to get out. Jenna Murphy says it was around 8 o'clock and she had just put her nine month old son to bed when she looked outside and saw her car filled with water. It was parked right here, right in front of my bedroom window. Um, I saw it filling up. There was no way I could get my, my car's lower to the ground, so there was no way I could get it out. Before she knew it, her brand new Kia was floating down the street, and she and her neighbors had to be rescued. We got drenched over there. We were soaking wet, us and our six-month-old daughter. Meanwhile, Alyssa Horner and her fiance tell KDKA they were told to go to the Circle K gas station, a point of higher ground near Washington Estates. But when they got there, they say they weren't allowed to stay inside and were stranded in the rain in the parking lot as water surrounded them. We were stuck. We were like, it was like an island. We, water was all the way around. They say nearly six hours later, the fire department was able to rescue them and about 15 others, finally taking them and their six-month-old daughter and dogs to safety. They helped turn a dark situation with a little bit of light. <laughs> They say their home, like many others here, suffered damage, but are grateful for first responders who rescued them. Damages can be fixed, family can't, so everybody's safe. That's all that matters in, at this point, so that's where we're at. The crisis center here off Henderson Avenue is still in cleanup mode as well after being impacted by severe flooding last night. The township says it's station one and station two. Volunteer fire departments will be open, though, as a place for someone to go for shelter. If this area were to flood again, we have that information on our website, kdka.com. Reporting in Canton Township, Erica Stanish, KDKA TV News. Flooded streets and washed away yards are scattered throughout Houston. Washington County, but last night's rain also wiped out the entire borough building. Yeah, KDK is Megan Schiller continues our team coverage tonight. Take a listen to that. Those are the emergency sirens that are going off here in Houston. I'm standing in front of the borough building. Had about three feet of water. It is gutted inside from all of this flooding. And at one point, one of the police vehicles was submerged in the water straight over there. Full mess down here. Toss out the waterlogged rugs. This is the mud and grime left behind inside Houston's now ruined borough building. And a resident shared this picture of the flood water nearly topping the Houston police car in the parking lot. The Chartier's Houston Girls softball athletic director stands at five foot nine, as tall as the waterline of the waters that decimated his girls' softball fields. Chartier's Township closed several roads, like here on Seek Road, because the streams overflowed and created new rivers of their own. I come through last night to check because we have animals in the barn. And uh, I came through here, and it was all the way up to the bumper of my truck when I turned into the, the driveway here. So this is good in comparison? Yeah, it's yeah, 10 times better than it was last night. And so until further notice, this borough building parking lot is going to be filled with firewater response and first responders as the cleanup just begins here in Houston. Reporting tonight in Houston, Washington County, I'm Megan Schiller, KDK News.